Hello and welcome. Who am I? In this episode we are going to make sure we are following one of the most fundamental rules of system administration. Patch your ass. We will use YAST to set up automatic updates. Let's get started. We are not going to go through the whole starting the system and logging in all over again since you should know how to do that and be fairly comfortable with it at this point. A new trick today is that you don't really need to go through the YAST control center. You can just write YAST and the name of the module you want. So we want YAST online up update configuration. It jumps directly into that module and starts doing stuff. Huh. Now, this is either somebody has hacked OpenSUSE or OpenSUSE have changed something. So, in either case, it's there, they, they are going to fix it if it's something wrong at this point. Especially in our situation, we're just going to say trust. It continues loading. Rebuilding the cache. It's going to load the data and we wait. Once it's done loading, what we want to do is first enable automatic online update. We're going to set the interval to weekly, we don't want to update every day and we're going to make sh we're going to skip interactive patches and agree with licenses we're going to give it OK it's done we can check to see if our configuration holds And it does. Okay. Uh, since it's going to update weekly and it's going to pass, it's actually going to skip some updates. Updates requiring user input in some way, shape, or form. There is a need to make at least one monthly update manually. And we can do that by using YAST online update. As soon as it starts, it presents us with a list of updates we can install and update for system D, USB MUX D, YAST to security, correctly read, write, control, delete, open SSH collective update. Yeah, those are some pretty, I don't know important sounding things so we accept and we wait updating is so simple that it really doesn't need a separate tutorial for it the important issue here is to remember that updates are not a matter of choice or opinion. Updates are mandatory if you want your system to be stable and secure. And this goes for Linux, Windows and Mac etc. And it's important for the desktop, the server, 
and the appliance. If you like this video and you're not too busy, why not rate, share or subscribe? If you don't like it, constructive criticism is always welcome in the comment section.